Hey, this is a short video with tips on how to deal with air wires in Eagle. So I'm using Eagle 9.6.2, but it's probably the same for any version of Eagle that you would be using, including the electronics workspace in Fusion 360. I think probably most everything is the same there. So um, I'm going to show you how you can identify where air wires are, uh, what they are, and uh, how to resolve some issues that come up when you have some air wires that just won't go away or uh, can't be found. So let's take a look. So the first thing is uh, I've got this schematic for a 555 timer over here and over on the right I've got a, um, a header that will allow me to connect power, ground, and the output pin of the timer. So let's look at the board that I've laid out for this schematic and I've just kind of um, done it halfway. I've got most of the traces that need to be made but here we see the yellow lines that represent um, connections that haven't been made yet and those are called air wires or unrouted wires so uh, there are a couple things to know first they if they aren't showing up uh, then we'd want to make sure that under our layer settings that the unrouted layer is actually enabled the next thing is uh, right now I can see there are a bunch of them but uh, most of them are actually ground connections. This one from pin four to pin eight is not, and so I'll make that connection, and I'll do that just to show you something here. Obviously, I can't cross this uh, trace, so the easiest way to uh, kind of punch through to the bottom layer of the board is to just mid-route, um, mid just change to layer bottom, and then I'll create a via, and then uh, finish, go back to the top layer, and it'll create another via. So we're able to just kind of jump over that by going through to the bottom, bottom layer of the board. So uh, the next thing is how do we, if we have a really complicated schematic, a, a complicated board layout, we don't always want to see all of these ground connections. If I type rat's nest, it shows me how many air wires are left down here in the lower left. So it says there are three air wires left. Those are all ground connections and um, I want to, if in some cases, just hide all of the air wires that represent ground. So what I can do is type rat's nest, exclamation point, ground. And that just hides everything that is a, um, a ground net. If I want to bring them back, the easiest thing to do is just rat uh, star, and that shows all air wires. You might also want to hide power or some other net, but uh, ground is the most common thing. So why am I leaving these ground connections and why do I want to hide them? Well, typically instead of making individual connections between all these ground points, what I would do is create a, a ground pour. And we can do that using the polygon command. And I'm just going to make sure that it has uh, right angles. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle. You can make it as big as you want, and I find that it's easier to make it much larger than the board if you can. It's asking you what the signal name is, and if you type ground, when you rat's nest, uh, what it does is it fills in all the open spaces of the board with copper, and those are ground um, connections now. So anywhere that needed a ground before can just kind of flow into that um, pore, like here is making its way over to ground here. Uh, there are a couple settings that we can use, and if you'll notice, it's kind of hard to find sometimes that, um, you know, if I want to use uh, select here or group and just kind of touch it so that I can see its information in the inspector. Sometimes it's hard to, to find it. And so um, there are a couple things you can do. One is just kind of a handy command to know, which is how to un, uh, unpour, right? So I've done the rat's nest. It, it added the ground pour. How can I get back to where I was before without deleting any part of the polygon? Because that's another way, right? We could delete part of the polygon and that would remove the ground pour. But uh, if we type rip up at sign semicolon, then what it does is it just un unpours. We still have the uh, polygon there though. So if I select an edge of the polygon, I can see all the settings. And uh, here is whether it's a solid pour and so on. Also, whether we include thermals. So you may not have noticed that, but I'll show you again what that means. And then uh, here there's isolate. So this tells how uh, far apart, if we rat's nest one more time, how far this pore should be from traces, for example. So if we increase that number, we'll end up with more of a gap there. And you can see it increase that, that trough between the two. 
Uh, here are the thermals. The, instead of just connecting directly to ground in this case and in this case, what it's done is uh, it's created kind of smaller connections that fan out from that uh, pad. And the reason for that is just to make it easier to solder. If this via was just kind of in the sea of copper, it becomes really hard to solder because you have to heat all of that copper. So thermals are a way to make soldering easier. And I'd say you should probably always have that turned on. So uh, isolating, you know, more than zero is probably not a bad idea. You may even be a recommendation from the PCB fab that you're using for what value to use for isolate. But one thing I wanted to show you is if that value gets too large, you end up with these islands. So even though that used to be connected to ground, kind of making its way through here, now it's not connected anymore. And uh, we can see there's an air wire now. So uh, this isn't really realistic because it's not really doing a good job of a ground pour anymore. Of course, if I made the board a bit bigger, I suppose it would um, maybe be a little type rat's nest. It'd be a little more, you know, complete, but we still have this um, island here that's causing a problem for us. So first, how do we find these problems? Because in this case, the uh, circuit board is really simple. It's really easy to see this yellow wire, but sometimes the yellow wires are really short, really small. And so one thing that I find is that's handy is to create a, a layer that is, um, I'm going to select all of the layers here and hide them and create a new layer that is just the air wires layer or the unrouted layer. So that, that shows it pretty clearly. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's going on. So I might turn on dimension so I can get an idea of the, you know, where, where it is on the board and maybe also vias, something that can tell me where I should look. Um, but then, you know, when I go back to, um, one of my standard, uh, layers that shows more information, I can see, you know, now I know where, where to look. So that's one way. The other way is to use uh, design rule check. So if we go to tools and hit DRC, uh, I'll just use the default Eagle design rules, but you might have uh, a file that you can load from your PCB fab where whoever's making the PCB might have that uh, information for you. But I'll hit check and it shows me there's an air wire. And if I click, I can see it actually draws a box around it. Now, sometimes I've uh, encountered cases, especially with a ground connection that's missing, where the box really isn't helpful. It's it's around something that just doesn't make sense at all. And it doesn't even tell you here which net there's an air wire between. So it doesn't give you a lot of information. Sometimes it's not that helpful. Um, again, also, it shows you down here that there's one error. And again, if I type rat's nest, it shows me down here that there's one air wire. So these are all ways to see where there's a connection that isn't being made. Uh, how can I get this to connect there? Well, you might think, well, I'll maybe route underneath like I did here to the other side of the board. But uh, another common thing to do, if you can, is to make a ground pour on the other side of the board. So whenever you need a ground connection, you can just kind of punch through the top of the board to the bottom, and that would make your ground connection. So let's do that. I'll make another polygon. And uh, I've got my right angles here. And this one I'm going to put on the bottom layer. I'm going to make it bigger than the other one, a different size than the other one, so it's easy to select if I want to. And I'll make sure it's named ground. Now when I hit uh, type rat's nest, it shows me the bottom layer and the top layer here. Uh, depending on which layer you have selected, you'll be able to see one or the other easier. Um, of course, you can also do single layer mode, so you only see the layer you're on, and you won't see those um, other layers, or they'll at least be harder to see. So um, at this point, you know, I, I might think, well, there's a, a whole plane of blue uh, underneath there. There's a whole ground layer, uh, a ground pore. And I'd like to be able to just kind of punch through right here so that I can um, have this pad connect to that ground plane. Now, the, the ground plane here and the ground plane underneath are obviously connected because this via goes through. And so it makes that connection between the top and bottom layers. Uh, but here we don't have it have that. So what we'd want to do is just add a via and I can just click right there to add it. And you might assume that solves the problem. So let's type rat's nest and see what happens. It doesn't look quite right. What it's done is it's actually kind of moved my uh, top layer ground plane ground pour away from the via. And if you look closely, it's also made a little trough around it for the bottom layer. So it hasn't solved any problems. We still have an air wire here. And if I do a DRC check, it's going to tell me that there's still a problem. 
So there's still an air wire here. So this can be uh, frustrating to troubleshoot, but you know, if you look at the clues, it's telling you that this actually, this via isn't actually connected to the ground plane on either side of the board. So the problem here is that we need to name that via and make sure that it's actually uh, ground. So now you can see it's uh, part of this uh, top layer ground pour and the same on the bottom. If I type rat's nest, uh, I can see I have nothing to do down on the bottom. And of course, if I do a DRC check, I should have no problems. Uh, and it says no errors. And that's it. That's a handful of uh, tips related to air wires, DRC, routing, uh, ground pours, and all that. So hopefully something in there was helpful for you and good luck.